फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जावाई जैसम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन लाइक कंस्ट्रक्टर मेथड क्लासेस एबेस्टेड क्लासेस वट इज द मेथड ओवर लर्डिंग वट इज द मेथड ओवर राइडिंग सो दो थिंग्स वी कैन डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो एंड इट्स अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड सो मेनी टाइम्स इफ यू सी लाइक सम इंटरव्यूअर विल आस्क यू लाइक वट इज द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन दैम ओके so let's take the example of something like uh, what is the abstract class and uh, like uh, here you can see uh, this slides what is the constructor versus methods so we can see first like what is the constructor and what is the methods and we can take the comparison between them okay so here you can see a constructor is used to initialize the state of object what do you mean by the state of the object means whatever the Uh, in a stains variable we have created in the class level that will initialize inside the constructors okay a method is used to expose the behavior of an object so whatever the object we have and we want to modify the object details or some data and uh, we need to change some behavior on that so we can take the help of the method we can write a method and we can pass a object in that and it will modify it so basically method is used to change the behavior of object and modify the object basically okay a constructor must not have a return type so definitely constructor does not have any return type so but in the method must have a return type okay so constructor cannot support any return type if you write return type it will give the errors okay so it will not support the return type but method having a return type you have to give at least void if you not give the return time it will give also error the constructor is invoke implicitly implicitly means you don't want to um, like call this separately whenever you create a object the constructor will invoke and it will create a object for that so basically constructor is implicitly invoke you don't want to invoke separately for that okay but the method is invoked explicitly if you not call the method method will not execute okay if you not call the method method will not execute but the constructor implicitly execute by default not we can say but if whenever you create a object for that uh, classes based on those constructor parameters it will execute it okay the java compiler provides a default constructor yes if you not uh, if you not write any constructor then definitely java provide a default constructor for you to create a and initialize the instance variables inside the class okay constructor in a class the method is not provide by default the method is not provide by the compiler in any case of the by default the method is not provided by the compiler in any case so method you have to write uh, java will not give you compiler will not give you to you have to write your own method for that particular operations but by default constructor he will provide okay the constructor name must be the same as the class name that is also very very important point so whatever the class name is there same thing you have to write as a constructor name if you write any other name then we can consider those name as a method type only and you have to give the return type the method name may or may not be the same you can write a method name same also and different also no issue in that so you can write a methods okay so what you have to do is you have to go to the uh, eclipse open the eclipse and try to write all those point okay whatever they are saying try to write and uh, try to understand exactly that thing is happening or not okay like uh, create a method create a constructors try to call it try to give return type in the constructor try to uh, not give the return type in the method so that you can analyze it and you can understood in the perfect way let's go and talk about what is the differences between classes and interface okay if i talk about the classes and interface okay simply you can go and here you can check the class keyword is used to create a class right yes right the interface keyword is used to create a interface it's also simple 
whenever you create an interface you can take the help of the interface whenever you create a class you have to take the help of the class keyword an object of the class can be created you can create an object for the classes but you can't create an object for the interfaces okay this is the second point class does not support multiple inheritance yes we have already seen an interface support multiple inheritance that is also fine a class can inherit another classes yes a interface cannot inherit a classes that is also fine interface can inherit only and only interface only it will not inherit any classes that is also fine its class can be inherited by another classes using the keyword extend yes a interface can be inherited by the using the keyword called implement and it can be inherited by the another interface using the extend keyword okay so if you want to extend the interface so we have already see interface interface extend keyword class class extend keyword but interface and class then we can go with the implement keyword okay that is thing you have to remember it a class can contain a constructor yes a interface cannot contain a constructor so in the interface you can't write any constructor but you can write a constructor inside the classes we have already seen it uh, cannot contain abstract method class cannot contain an abstract method it consists of the abstract method only so in the interface we are writing only abstract method default or static method but in the uh, classes we can't write it okay abstract method variables and methods can be declared using the what let me minimize A specific like a public protected and default keyword if you see here it's showing like uh, the variables and method can be declared using the a specific like public protected and default private in the class level okay right we can now provide the four uh, access modifier but if you declare the variable inside the what interface it must be what the method must be declared as a public only variables and method are the declared as a public only so this is the some differences you have to know about it okay and this is very very important for the interview also so please prepare for that okay next is overloading and overriding differences between the method overloading and method overriding so whatever the interview you face as a fresher as a experience definitely they will ask these questions and that is very very important so what is the method loading we have already seen um, inside the method having a one uh, in the one class having a one method with the uh, multiple method with the same name and different different parameters and order that is called method overloading so just see the differences here parameter must be the different in the case of overloading that is also fine parameter must be the different in the case of overloading parameter must be the same in the case of overriding so overriding is possible in the two classes overriding is possible in the two classes but overloading is possible in the one classes also okay in one classes also so in the one classes having a one uh, multiple method with the same name and different different parameters order that is called a method overloading and method overriding means in the two we have a two classes and both classes having a parent child relationship okay and parent classes method is overrided or overriding by the child classes that is called method overriding so parameter must be the same in the override that is also fine an example of the compile time polymorphism is an example of the compile time polymorphism. so overriding is a example of the compile time polymorphism and method overriding is a example of the runtime polymorphism so this is some basic difference we have seen okay 
you can write some more point also in that and make sure go to the STS and practice this whatever we have discussed in this point create one class try to give like uh, some create variables create a constructor create a some understand class and try to create it you are getting error or not based on this point okay if it is you are getting there just remember it for the futures for the constructor also for the method also for the constructor and method also and i hope you can do it and it's a very very important for your futures growth and once you remember it once you can do each and everything you can become a master in that okay in the oops concept okay thank you so much if you have any doubt let me know we can uh, do one project uh, based on the oops concept so that uh, everything whatever you have a doubt it will clears and we can go forward okay thank you so much bye guys